guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Asia, my queen. How are you guys doing today? I am doing amazing. I'm doing very well. I am ready for the gym. The girls are growing. These leggings, yeah, yeah. So these leggings are by a company called Tona. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yikes. Anyways, so I got these leggings sent to me and I'm like, okay, influencer? Influencer? But these are really, really, really comfortable. I'm like, okay, thank you guys, because I'm about to be on this mother lion now. Like, thank you, thank you. But yeah, they're very, very, let's put the leads down, very comfortable. Should I not wear long socks? Because I feel like Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, I did ask for like Michael Jackson though. Let's put these socks or these leggings over these socks. <sighs> I was kind of scared that these weren't going to fit because I... I don't know if I've gained weight or I don't know what it is, but like, I feel like I'm looking at my body a little differently. Maybe my body is just changing. Cause you know, I'm a grown woman now. I'm a grown ass woman and I'm like, wait, I'm an adult. What the hell? So why am I sitting here like, damn, I fucking miss my girlfriend, bro. <laughs> She's at work right now and I'm like, come on. Come on, please. I can't be doing that to her. Because one thing she gonna do, she gonna love me, right? She's like, uh -huh, I'll find a way. You know, so I can't do that to her. But I miss her. And I'm not gonna be able to see her too much today because I have a lot to do. I have like a lot a lot to do so later on today I have a therapy session I haven't been to therapy in like a month maybe even two and like I don't know my therapist is probably gonna look at me like girl I haven't seen you what's up she doesn't know that I've been fired from my job um what else does she not know she doesn't know that my mom and I have spoke so there's a lot to talk about <laughs> I'm like, girl, we gonna need a long, longer session. But I'm really excited to to get out the house right now. But yeah, let's get going. I'm at the gas station right now and I need to put this jacket on because when I tell you there's some heathens out here. These men are heathens at the gas station. I swear to God. They be acting like they ain't never seen a piece of chocolate before. When there's a Hershey kiss waiting at the counter. Damn, fuck. Come on, zip. And it's hot as hell, so it's like, I know. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm gonna look crazy, but like. This just reminds me. I had a little debate with somebody. I'm not gonna say who because, yeah, I don't want them to give me hate. But I had a debate with somebody the other day about women deserving respect, right? And the dude goes, well, like, if you're having, you know, boom, 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 with multiple men, men aren't gonna respect you. I'm like, I, he's like, these men are just gonna dog you out. I'm like, okay, have you guys ever thought about doing any type of self-reflection and really thinking about if you are laying in the bed butt naked with somebody you don't respect, isn't that more of a reflection on you than it is on her? Okay then. All right guys, so I'm at the nail salon right now and I'm gonna tell you this right now. They have me waiting one second. I'm leaving. That's just a sign that I shouldn't be spending. Oh, let's see. Bling, bling, bling. Bitches is mad. Hoes is mad. <laughs> so we got them done. We just got a cute white French tip. I had pink before, but 
so yeah not too different I'm like a French tip girl like I think that's where I'm gonna stay at for a little bit okay and I got a girl that can do it well so yeah but I am about to start recording my podcast um it's just gonna be a story time about how I pretty much not pretty much actually did sprain my ankle like my ankle's still like really fucked up but I just don't I don't want to say that I don't want to say that because I do have time but I'm trying to work my way through it I'm not trying to baby it too much so um yeah I feel hard guys I feel so hard the other day if you guys listen to this episode by the time this drops the episode will already be out but like it was bad it was really 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 bad like one of the worst experiences because like I thought I was gonna die like dead ass thought I was gonna die and my girlfriend's been really taking care of me she my baby so cute thank you if you're watching this thank you so much I needed you and she came and saved me thank god she was off that day because I would have been fucked not, actually not really because I, I I've been having like a lot I've been feeling a lot of support lately and I've really been needing that because there's been a couple of days where I've just been like nobody cares about me like I'm always there for people and they just like don't want to be there for me and it's just not true <laughs> it's not true at all and although I empathize with that person that just wanted to, you know, wallow in my uh, sorrow, I, it's just not true. People love me. People really value me. They really care about me. And, um, you know, we all have those moments where we're just like, does anybody want me? But... I'm trying to have them a little less frequently because I've girls been wilding. Okay, okay. But um yeah, let's I'm gonna get dressed and then start recording. Gotcha, gotcha. See you in a bit. You're the greatest of all time the greatest. Of course, of course. Good morning. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. I am currently getting ready for the gym and eating. I made some eggs, potatoes, and peppers. Oh. And I added some mushrooms to that. I forgot. I forgot. But, y'all, so I was watching one of those feminine energy, feminine, how to be feminine videos. And usually I really don't because some of them begin on my nerves, right? But this one specifically, the channel is called The Feminine Universe. I was like, hmm, I kind of want to play with this. She was just talking about the power of presenting yourself in the way that you want, right? And looking nice wherever you go. Or your version of presentable. You know, because I hate when people say presentable. What does that mean for real? Let's put some healing spray around this bitch. Like, what does that mean to look presentable? And in a lot of ways... Looking presentable, it like saying, telling someone to look presentable is a little racist. Yeah, because a lot of people think looking presentable is having straight hair, dressing a way that white people would like to see you, you know, the way white people see it's acceptable. But for me, I'm like, I want to dress in a way that I like because when I like the way I look. There's a certain energy that comes off that eventually bounces back. The other day, I was trying to cash a check, right? I went to Fry's and 
I was standing in line, the line was a little long, so I was like, okay, let me go to Starbucks real fast. Starbucks was like right next to him, because you know, Starbucks is in the grocery store. So I'm like, okay, let me just stand in that line. That line was long too, so I was like, okay, let's go back to <laughs> the other line. So I'm standing there and the barista from Starbucks walks over to me and is like, hey honey, did you want some help? Or so da, da, da. I'm sorry you're waiting so long. And I was like, no, it's all good. Once I'm done with this, I'll just go over there and get my coffee. And it was so crazy, like how that like worked, right? Like it was so like even though that was just a very, very small gesture, <clears throat> he didn't have to do that at all. But I feel like when okay, I feel like when you come off super confident people just want to please you all the time. It sounds very like evil, very 48 laws of power me, but like it's so true. Like when you're like coming into the building, like it don't matter if you don't like the way I look, I like the way I look. And it almost convinces people to think that they like the way you look. Even if that ain't their cup of tea or whatever, whatever, you stepped in the building and was like, boom. So they're kind of like, okay, what am I missing out on? So I'm like, okay, I kind of, I really like this feeling and I've been, you know, needing to like get into some spaces and get in, you know, just, I, I've been wanting my way because it's been feeling like I haven't gotten my way in a long time. So I'm like, okay, everywhere I go, I'm a step. Hello, we made it to the park. Oh, I didn't tell you guys we were going to the park today. <laughs> So I was like, honestly, I don't feel like going to the gym right now. I might go later on today, maybe. I do have to edit a lot tonight. But, um, yeah, it's so pretty out right now. It's like not that hot. I mean, to some of you, it might be. I'm from Arizona, born and raised here, so. I see that like every vlog, right? I'm like so proud to be an Arizonian, but it's not that hot for me, I should say. Like, I do keep feeling like ants are crawling on me, baby. I brought my notebook, no pen. Who needs a pen? Who needs a pen to write? Oh, there's an ant in my pen. I brought my notebook, no pen. I brought my pipe, no lighter, <laughs> I guess. That really means I need to do some reading. Chapter two, God. I'm gonna read to you guys. God is the rock. There is no time, no place, no state where God is absent. I just finished reading a chapter and I wanna talk to you guys about what I read, okay? So she talks about how love and fear are opposites, right? And when people move on fear, they start behaving in ways that are unnatural to humans, right? Because I think a lot of us look at some of the terrible shit humans do and we're like, wow, you are so bad. Like you are such a bad person. Like this is who you are to the core. And I can understand that. But like when you really start thinking of it like, Dang, I really got bit up. When you really start thinking of it like, you're just scared, right? Like, a lot of the reason why people do some of the awful things, and no, I don't even wanna say a lot of. Every time someone does something awful to you, it's because they're scared. They're fearful of not receiving love, so they act out in ways that are really unnatural to humans. For instance, when you gossip. Sometimes do you feel that you gossip because you are scared of not having connection with somebody? Like I had this homeboy, I said this on my podcast one time, but I had this homeboy that always wanted to gossip. Like he always wanted to spill tea. He always wanted to know the tea. And I asked my homegirl, I was like, dude, like why is he like this? Like he, he knows everything about everybody. And she's like, I think he's just scared that 
he can't connect with you guys unless he gives you guys gossip because he doesn't really he and he also doesn't really feel like he has anything else to offer so it's like if I don't have anything else to offer and I want connection I'm just gonna give you what I got and I want this connection and I'm scared that I'm not gonna have this connection so I'm just gonna give you whatever it is that I got so I'm like oh okay it makes more sense and I think we're able to have like a lot more compassion for people that are just annoying when you're just like you know what you're just like you're scared it's all good you're 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 fearful right now and for like ladies and I know men deal with this as well but I'm not a dude so whatever I'm not talking to y'all but ladies like have you ever experienced something where you like walk into a room and you kind of see someone like dogging you and you know it's kind of like oh she's probably scared that I'm gonna steal whatever attention she would have gotten if I wasn't here you know like I've been on both sides I've been the girl not dogging somebody because I'm just like not that type but I have felt fearful of somebody taking attention from me but I've also been the girl where other people have felt that way and then they would treat me you know badly and shit like that like, I don't do the treating bad and I don't do the dogging because I really can't fight like that so it's like but I have been in a place where I felt so fearful so insecure that's where our insecurities come from because we're just scared to feel exposed we're, we're we're you know if we knew that it was just gonna be us seeing whatever that was maybe it wouldn't be as bad and then it also makes me forgive this one girl for being so stupid like she was like acting so dumb bro and i was just like now i'm thinking about it i'm like she's scared to lose her nigga she's scared to lose her nigga so she's gonna behave in this way and the only way she knows how to out of desperation you know so i can't fault her for that because that's that's all she knows i think I'm going to dance for a little bit, you know, vibe out to some music, and then I'm gonna head home. I wanna, I need to edit and stuff tonight. Geek that I won't forget, too soon, I can't keep Dry, yeah, a dry erase board. Oh my god, man, it's eighteen dollars. Oh my god. I'm trying to also keep myself from getting another planner. It's like, girl, you do not need a planner, please. Enough. I really don't. But that dry erase board. Oh, man, this ain't my time. Yeah, I'm 
Jesus' sake. <laughs> Up it a little bit. I'm going to get some blue slippers. My slippers are ratchet. Uh, it doesn't look like they have my size. I'm really that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Because I don't need to. I came here for a couple things. But look at these shoes, too. I really like these. Cute, huh? I'm like, okay, Target. Okay, Target. Lance. Whoa. When was the last time I talked to you? Oh, at Target. So I'm home. Huh. Just finished packaging some of these t-shirts. Now I'm gonna schedule when they drop on the website. And then I have to edit. I'll be up all night. All fucking night. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm just finishing up editing the clips and the, I'm done. I'm literally done. I am done. My t-shirts drop tomorrow. Podcast drops tomorrow. I'm done. When I tell you I'm gonna sleep, I'm going to sleep, okay? Like a baby. Like a big baby. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, I love ya, good, wait, it's tomorrow, oh, that's why I got, I was like, okay, why does that sound familiar, but good morning, how are you doing? You can't see anything under this, because she doesn't have a shirt on, if you can tell, mm-hmm, so, I am here frying some potatoes, yeah, some potatoes, and I'm gonna make well, I am making, I should have put the peppers in. Uh, the same thing I made yesterday. So potatoes, eggs, peppers, mushrooms, all that. Um, damn it, I should have put these in. Um, so, boom, nigga, ratatouille out this bitch. Anyways, um, that was, yeah. Uh, my t-shirts went live today so excited i'm so excited and um yeah i'm just really excited about that so um it's like a lot because i'm like t-shirts dropped today audio my podcast dropped today visual my podcast dropped today i should have spread that out a little bit Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready and then. Oh no, I put too much. No, it's gonna be salty as fuck. Damn it. Fucking with y'all. Fucking with y'all. You see what happens? All right, guys, I'll be right back. Ah! Hello. So I just got back from Jack in the Box. Haha. -ha. Um, I just went on a bike ride instead. I feel like I've been wanting to be outside a lot more than wanting to be in the gym. Um, yeah. Things have just been a little stressful. Just a little bit. And and like, I think I just, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I think I just wanna go ghost for like the next 10 days. Just not looking at my text messages, not answering any calls. I just need some silence. <laughs> You know, sometimes you can't even hear yourself think. <laughs> and, you know, that's, you know, like. She did this again. That's so crazy. How, why does she keep doing this? This girl at Jack in the Box. Every time I tell her I want mild sauce, she keeps giving me mayonnaise. <laughs> and, like, I'm getting tacos. 
like she just keeps giving me mayonnaise and I'm just so confused like this is the second time this has happened inches good morning I didn't vlog too much yesterday cuz I was just like laying in the bed crying <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna bed crying. Don't want to invest. But and I was just like, I'm not, I'm not about to get on this motherfucker crying now. You know, there's way too much footage of me online crying, and like, I'm not the type of bitch that that cries on the internet for attention. I could just show my ass. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, what, what? Why would I do that? I could just be like, so, and I feel like sometimes when, you know, when I abruptly start crying on camera, I'm like, people are going to think that I'm trying to get attention, but I shouldn't give a fuck what people be thinking. I know what the hell I be doing. Because to me, like, crying isn't a big deal what we fucking do just like I'm going like this if I was going like same thing just another emotion it's just the fact that people are so weird when it comes to crying and I just don't I'm not one to want to like really explain like myself too much you know especially when I'm in that state okay but yeah anyways I'm going hiking I got my shorts on. Oh, you can't see. But yeah, I got my shorts on. My sports bra. And ooh, that was kind of. Let's take these shorts down a little bit because it's pretty hot. But I do need to stop crying as much because it's fucking up my lashes. <laughs> A wow wow Chappelle show Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's start the show That was kinda cool I did like I went let's start the show and turn off the light Oh I like that bun it's cute Thank you Huh? I said thank you You're welcome The Bob. So, I found these like short animated, would you call it like a show or a movie? I don't know. But um, they're on film, yeah, short animated film. Let's, like this. And um, they're on Disney Plus. One is called Float, um, Pearl. 20 something. 20 something. Um, out. They're all like six minutes. So, like, you're, you got the time. Okay. But, like, so out, of course, is about a gay dude, right? And basically, him and his dog, they trade spirits. And, his dog overhears his mom saying like I just wish my son would talk to me um and I hope that he finds someone that makes him happy but he said like I hope he makes him happy or something like that and like the dog the the dude but the dude is and the dog is like wait she don't gay you know what I mean so it was like in this whole in that whole time basically the whole film it's him trying to like hide a picture of him, him and his boyfriend. Him hiding this like one magazine, this gay ass magazine, like this dude magazine shit. It's like, 
wow, like I really did not have to hide myself because you already knew. So I literally suppressed who I was and was, you know, quite frankly, uh, disrespecting my man. And you already knew I was gay. You already knew I was gay. And then 20 something, y'all have to watch that one. That one is the best one. That one is about, of course, someone in their 20s. She's at the club. And then like, you see her go into the restroom and once she gets into the stall, she opens up her jacket and it's her at three different ages. So her as a baby, her as 16 and her as 10. And you just like, you realize that we're all kids right and we're all we're just like grown ass kids and we're all just like figuring it out and um yeah you just have to have to have to watch it like it's that one is incredible i think some of us it's not some of us a lot of us we don't realize how great we're actually doing you know i think we're trying to like measure up to other people or just our expectation of being an adult was one thing when it's actually the other like there are errors like you know how you know when your parents will make a mistake and probably still to this day if your parents just acted as humans right like you're just so like <gasps> you know because like in our heads our parents are supposed to know everything and 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 be everything and I think you know just for me through therapy i've just realized that my dad is just uh, a, i was gonna say a tall boy but my dad ain't tall my dad is just like a tall 10 year old my mom is a tall 10 year old i am a tall 10 year old you know and when you realize that it's just like these people are gonna make mistakes like human beings and they're they're not super humans like i used to literally think my mom was superwoman um when I was in like the second grade, I saw her push the car um, while I was in it. And I think she was pregnant. I think she was pregnant. Oh, my mommy. I think she was pregnant. And when I saw her do that, I was like, oh my God, this is insane. She is, what the fuck? And then, like, I've always kept that mind. Like, my mom could beat anybody up. My mom could, she could do anything. And I think that's amazing that we think these ways about our parents. But I feel like it does such a disservice for your parents and the relationship you have with your parents. Because you're expecting them to be something that is literally impossible. And you're also easily let down because when they are just being a human being like they are, you're like, wait... <laughs> what is going on here you're supposed to be perfect so yeah like y'all gotta watch those so i'm gonna i'm gonna say it again float 20 something uh out pearl those four disney plus i'm gonna need y'all to watch it six minutes six minutes go to college your life is fucked up <laughs> your dad ain't come back from the grocery store go to college say hi Taylor <laughs> then this no level get no higher The horizon. <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost done. Right there. 
Morning. Hello. I'm listening to the friend zone, they're talking about like, they're talking about food. Oh yeah, so, like, yeah, yeah. When you were in elementary school, or like school, did you like, prefer to bring your, like food, or eat there? Mm -hmm. And then Asante was talking about how, like on the school trips, there was always some sandwich, some chips and juice, and we'd be like, yeah, like, and I was like, oh, that sounds good as fuck. <laughs> like, Especially sandwich. when you put the Doritos and the chips, I mean, in, in yeah. the, um, in the sandwich. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking about when I was getting them. I was like, I should, I should probably get some Doritos. We go buy a little bag of chips out. Just, okay. okay. Especially like after you went swimming. Yeah. Well, like, Do you remember? Like, oh, oh like, okay. I'm definitely doing this. <laughs> We're gonna talk about like, the crinkle cut fries and shit. <laughs> like how they disappear and then come back. But like, our school lunches, like the lunches that they had. Uh, for the field trips, they were not good. Not my school. They were disgusting. My mom used to just pack it for me. Cause she, yeah, she was like, yeah, I know. I wouldn't eat that shit either. And she would always be like, I don't want um, them to think I'm a poor black mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she, I'm like, mom. But yeah, them, them, them lunches were gross. Do you mind if YouTube sees your um, ice cream? Tell them. It's called Cookie Monster. It's called Cookie Monster. And it has, I think it said, it has Oreos, cookie dough, and cookie sandwich pieces? I don't know what that means. Cookie sandwich pieces? That's what it said. Oh, the white stuff that's in between the cookies and cream. I don't know. It didn't look like that. Oh. Okay. And then, um, it's made with this sweet, sweet cream base. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Sweet cream. Queen. That's pretty bold. So I'm about to get ready because I'm going to one of my friend's shows. He is a rapper. Uh, my girlfriend and I decided to pull up on my boy. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Mm -mm -mm. I decided to start getting ready a little early because I want to do like a get ready with me for TikTok. Like, hey guys, get ready with me to like go to my friend show. You know, one of those like, hey, get ready with me. You know, so yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm gonna wear. I know I'm gonna wear. I should say, I'm gonna wear the two-piece set that I got from Lovely Wholesale. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, I did a try-on haul and there's this outfit that's like a skirt and some type of like muscle shirty shirt. I don't know. But it's a two-piece set and it has a pink cross on both the bottom and the top, super cute. And I wanted to wear my white heels, but this ankle, no. It said, Girl, who do you think you are? So, 
I'm gonna wear uh, my white Converse which are really cute. I don't know if it's gonna look good with that outfit, so we're just gonna have to try that on. We're gonna cross that bridge when we get there. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm watching this vlog right now. It's a YouTuber that I just discovered, I shall say. Her name is Quateria? Quatura? Yes, Quatura. Katura. Katura. Yeah. Q U E T U R A H. Katura. I should probably pay attention to when she introduced herself in the beginning. I'll let you guys know her name. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm going to continue to watch her vlog and then I'll be back. By the time I'll be back here. My makeup should be on. Okay, so I'm almost done, but I want to tell you guys something. I was on a podcast today, right? By the time you guys see this, it'll already be out. When I tell you it was good, like, good, 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 good. Even though, like, it's not like we were, like, agreeing on everything, because you could tell by the questions he was asking me. I was like, okay, like, this is how you think. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know how when someone asks you a question, it's like, it's almost like this is where their perspective is at versus it just being a, just a general general question. It's always interesting when you listen to the way people interpret what you say. So, for instance, I had said that, well, let me take this off. Okay. So, on my podcast, I had talked about how there was like a such thing as like the acceptable black girl. And he had asked me about say like he had asked me about said topic and it was just interesting on what he thought I had meant. I have noticed that on some like TV shows and casting and stuff like that, they cast the black girl who looks, that looks like more racially ambiguous. Like the black girl, like the main black girl sometimes, a lot of times is like, someone who's like biracial or really light skin or has um more eurocentric features things like that okay so this is what we're wearing tink tink we got gold jewelry on right now and we got some white chunky converse a little thing <laughs> You see that? He liked the way that I ride. Give me that piece of the pie. She looks pretty. All right, see you guys in a bit. So we just stopped at Chick Fil A. Yay, yay, yay! We just went to Pound Town. Wait. <laughs> we just went to Pound Town. <laughs> We're gonna be a little late. But I think he's like the second person to um to perform, so I'm not gonna miss his performance. I'm gonna text him and be like, Nick, you better not get on that stage until I get here. Okay? Okay. Pound town, just left pound town. Alright guys, so we're in QT. We just got back from the show and I am wanted some snack. I want some snacks. I think mm, I might get the oh wait, hold on. Let's get the corn chips. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. What else do we want? I'm in snack heaven right now. Yes. Yes, please. Thank you. We need some saladitos. 
Any little signs, huh? I'm gonna get my signature ruffles with the French onion dip. Good morning. I fell asleep on the couch last night. My girlfriend and I watched Incredibles after we uh, got back from the show. We are just like, oh my God. <laughs> I've been loving animations lately. I, um, they just, they fill my heart. They make me feel so like peaceful and childlike. And you know, as an adult, we need those times. You know, and as of lately, I haven't needed those times more than anything. <laughs> I'm just like, listen, the heavy shit, don't need it. Don't need it right now. <laughs> you know, so um, I've just been wanting um, to feel more light. I've been feeling really heavy lately. And um, I've just been wanting to just light my lighten my mood and just be like, just enjoy my life and just enjoy just the time that you know I have here spending it with y'all with my friends with my family and things like that um however I am also wanting to take it slow you know I'm trying to start a new schedule where um, going to sleep pretty early and waking up extremely early. The goal is to start waking up at 4 a.m. every day. Um, that will be something that I'm actually going to start tomorrow. So I'm doing a lot of resting today just in preparation for, you know, the new journey that I will be partaking in. So that's going to be exciting. Mm. Well, I want to have tacos tonight. Where did that come from? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of the day resting. I'm going to edit this TikTok and also edit this vlog so it could be out to you guys by Monday. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed me. I hope you guys have a great day, a great Monday. Happy Monday. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for just supporting me and just showing up every week. I appreciate you so much. Bye-bye.